Pythagorean Theorem, Trig Version. You should be familiar with the geometric version of the Pythagorean Theorem and the trig definition of sine and cosine. That is, sine and cosine are defined as the coordinates of points on a circle of radius 1, called the unit circle. In this lesson, we'll find the value of sine given the value of cosine, and vice versa. Note that we do not need to know the angle. The value of one trig function leads directly to the value of the other. We already know the Pythagorean theorem for right triangles. We now wish to apply it to the right triangles that we see in the unit circle. Cosine of theta is the x-coordinate of the black dot, but it is also the length of the bottom side of the triangle. The sine of theta is the y-coordinate of the black dot, but it is also the length of the leg opposite the angle theta. Using these lengths, the Pythagorean theorem is cosine of theta squared plus sine of theta squared equals 1 squared, which is 1. As a shorthand notation, we typically write the square on the cosine and sine functions and omit the parentheses. This equation will enable us to find the sine value when the cosine value is known, and vice versa. For example, find the sine of theta if the cosine of theta is 2 fifths. We begin by using the Pythagorean theorem to find that the square of the sine of theta is 21 over 25. We get two possible answers, one positive, one negative. In order to find the precise value for sine of theta, we would need to be given information about the location of the angle. Since cosine of theta is positive, the angle must be either in the first quadrant or the fourth quadrant. One way that we could ask the question is to specify the quadrant specifically. In this case, if you are given that cosine of theta is a positive number and the angle is in the fourth quadrant, you would then know that the sine of theta would be a negative number so you would choose the negative number after using the Pythagorean theorem. Another way to ask the question is to specify the size of the angle theta. You could be given that cosine of theta is a positive number and that theta itself is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi. You would then know that theta is in the fourth quadrant and the sine of theta should be a negative number. Again, you will choose the negative number after applying the Pythagorean theorem. Here are two more examples. You may wish to pause the video here in order to work out these problems. Note that you could also solve these problems using the geometric definition. Instead of labeling the triangle with the hypotenuse equal to 1, you can label the triangle so that the adjacent side is 2 and the hypotenuse is 5 to make the value of cosine equal to 2 over 5. You can then find the missing side by the Pythagorean theorem and use the values of opposite over hypotenuse to find the sine of theta. To recap, on the unit circle, the Pythagorean theorem becomes sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Given the value of either sine or cosine, you can find the other from the Pythagorean theorem except that you will get two answers, one positive, one negative. Information about the quadrant will allow you to determine whether the correct answer is positive or negative.